Health Clinic and today we're going to have our fourth interview with Jonathan Glozer and for those of you who don't know who is Jonathan you can go ahead and watch our videos that we made previously so Jonathan is the owner of the famous by now well-being company and he's producing wonderful products such as colloidal gold, colloidal silver, colloidal copper and today he brought to us his new product which is organic sulfur. So Jonathan people wants to know about this product and I would like to ask you several questions and first of all thank you for coming back with your very busy schedule we we have to be happy to have Jonathan back in our clinic so Jonathan tell us what is a sulfur so a lot of people don't know is it a mineral is this a vitamin or what kind of substance it might be so if you can explain to our audience what is a sulfur okay um, well, this product is called organic sulfur it's also known as MSM which stands for methyl sulfonyl methane basically it's a mineral supplement it's pure sulfur in crystal form. Um, sulfur should be the third most prevalent mineral in the body. It's basically, our bodies are basically made up of sulfur. Our skin, our hair, our nails, our ligaments, our connective tissues, our joints, our bones, they're primarily made of sulfur. If you ever smell hair when it burns, it has that awful smell to it. That's because you're smelling the sulfur. We're primarily made up of sulfur, so it's a very important mineral for the body. Unfortunately, like so many minerals these days, uh, we're not getting enough of them in our diet because the soils are, are deficient. And so sulfur is one of the most important minerals to supplement with. This is a product that I plan to supplement with for the rest of my life. Um, stays in the system for about 12 hours, so it's ideal to take it twice a day. So this sulfur supplement, um, it has a long list of health benefits. It only has one negative quality to it, and that's a bitter taste. It's got a very bitter taste. Um, so when I take it, I like to put the sulfur crystals in a, jar, in a glass and I pour just enough water in the glass to get it to swirl, and then I shoot it down, and I put a little bit more water in that glass to get the residue, and I shoot that down as well. After I do that, I like to follow it up with a full glass of water, mm -hmm. because sulfur is very detoxifying to the body, so mm -hmm. it's good to drink a little bit extra water and f help to, the body to flush out those, those toxins that is uh, helping to pull out. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, sulfur works by making the cell walls more permeable, and when your cell walls are more permeable, you get more oxygen into the cells, get more nutrients from the food you're eating into the cells, and you get more toxins and waste out of the cells. So it's very detoxifying. Um, like I said, it makes it's primarily what our bodies are made up of, especially our joints and ligaments. Mm -hmm. Therefore, people with arthritis, they tend to take it as a supplement for arthritis, mm -hmm. um, and it's very effective for that. However, I don't have any arthritis, thank goodness, but I take it every day because mm -hmm. it's a very, very powerful detoxifier. Mm -hmm. And we live in a beautiful world, but it's also a toxic world. And to detoxing is something we, we should focus very on important. on a daily basis. It's not yeah. something we should put off for once or twice a year. It's something you want to do on a, a continuous basis. And so taking sulfur every day allows the body to keep up with the toxin load that we're, we have coming coming at us these days and helps the body process toxins mm -hmm. out. Excellent. Yeah, and I know that because I'm taking MSM formulas for on and off, on and off, and whenever I'm on that formula, I feel completely different. So nothing like I also I have some arthritis or anything, but this is, works for many other aspects of our health. So, Jonathan, you said that it has a, like this bitter taste, but let me ask you, um, what food naturally contains sulfur? Well, uh, foods like eggs and um, eggs and garlic and onions and cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and kale and collards and Brussels sprouts and cabbage and um, cauliflower, broccoli, um, all of those, um, the reason why those vegetables tend to have a really strong smell to them mm -hmm. is because of the sulfur content in them. However, unless your, your soil is rich with sulfur, the plants aren't really getting in enough sulfur to, to satisfy our body's needs. Mm -hmm. Um, sulfur is important for uh, assimilating nutrients, so if the, if the plant doesn't have enough sulfur in the soil, it can't pull as many nutrients out of the soil, and even if the you know, plate of food that you're eating, you could be eating the healthiest food in the world, mm -hmm. if you don't have enough sulfur in your body, you're not going to assimilate the, all of the nutrients out of that food. Very, so, yeah, very interesting, because so. a lot of people sometimes have uh, like craving for onions and for uh, garlic, you know, and now it it's explains that these people probably sulfur deficient, so it's 
this is what uh, you know making them to, to eat that much more uh, from time to time okay Jonathan there's a lot of people might ask the question that uh, we are allergic to sulfur and sulfur drugs so do, is would it be beneficial for those people to take the organic sulfur and uh, would they have the same like side effects like they actually withdrawing from their uh, from their regular drugs that containing sulfur so can you explain that yeah that's a very common question um, there are a lot of people that are allergic to sulfur and sulfur drugs, but nobody is allergic to organic sulfur. Organic sulfur is the form that's bioavailable and our bodies need it. And like I said earlier, our bodies are primarily made of sulfur. So not only can everybody take this product, but everybody needs sulfur. You couldn't live without it. Um, the people that are allergic to sulfur are or allergic to the inorganic sulfur, which is the yellow powder, smells like rotten eggs, really stinky powder. Um, that's inorganic sulfur, and there are a lot of people who are allergic to that. But everybody can safely take organic sulfur mm -hmm. because it's so important to the body. The body needs it. Everybody needs it, and nobody can be allergic to organic mm -hmm. sulfur. Very good, very good. So, and uh, if there's any side effect for any of uh, folks not to take it, or what they might experience after that? There is no negative side effects from taking sulfur. The only possible negative side effect would be what's called the Herxheimer reaction or the Herx effect, also known as the healing crisis or cleansing reaction. Uh, because this is so detoxifying to the body, you can actually get, you can actually be um, processing out too many toxins than the, uh, at a faster rate than the body can actually keep up with. And so you may feel uh, flu-like symptoms or typically it's experienced as a headache which is a positive sign the sulfur is working for you. If you do experience that, it is not that uncommon. So you may experience that when you initially start taking it. Um, you want to back off on the sulfur temporarily, drink extra water to help the body flush out those toxins, and you'll get through it. It's a one-time deal. Once you get through it, you won't experience that ever again. So I tell people the, the dosage for sulfur, recommended dosage is a teaspoon per 100 pounds of body weight. So uh, for me, I weigh a little over 150 pounds. I take around a teaspoon and a half twice a day. Uh, what I would recommend people doing is starting, if it's your first time with sulfur, start with a third of your dose. And you do that for a few days. If there's no negative side effects like headaches or whatnot, then go ahead and increase to maybe two-thirds of your dose. And again, after a few days, if there's no negative side effects, you can go increase to the full dosage. Um, just know this product is not giving you a headache. This product uh, if you do get a headache from this product, it's because of a positive thing, which is the toxins being mm -hmm. released, released from your body. Mm -hmm. So just hang in there, drink extra water, go slowly. Uh, there's no need to be in discomfort, so don't go faster than is comfortable for your body, and just ever so gradually increase to your to your full dosage. Um, doctors that know about sulfur, they know it to be so important that they actually recommend erring on the side of taking too much sulfur mm -hmm. than taking too little because it's so important and it's very safe. There's no chance of overdosing. Um, actually, over the last month or two, a couple months ago, I was having really bad digestive issues and I wasn't sure what was going on. Mm -hmm. So I doubled my dose of sulfur. So instead of taking a teaspoon and a half twice a day, I'm, I was now, and I still am to this day, taking a, a full rounded uh, tablespoon twice a day. Um, so, you know, in a teaspoon there's about five grams, so I'm taking about, um, I'm taking about 30 grams of sulfur a day. And the more I take, the more I find I notice health benefits. The first thing I noticed when I started taking sulfur is my skin, my hair, and my nails started getting stronger and thicker and healthier and, and, and better looking. So that's, that's the first thing you'll notice. But what it's doing on the outside of your body, it's also doing on the inside of your body as well. Definitely, yes. And now tell us if there's any certain condition that people might have, like illnesses or you know sickness when they like, no, no, not allowed to take this product. I can't really think of any. This is a really important product, so mm -hmm. um, um, you know. Again, I'm gonna I plan on taking this product for the rest of my life because, mm -hmm. unfortunately, there's not enough sulfur in the food mm -hmm. supply like there mm -hmm. used to be, um, right. you know, 50 years ago or more. Of course. Um, sulfur is very protective as far as radiation. Mm -hmm. You know, we live in a world that has, you know, we're being bombarded with radiation mm -hmm. every day mm -hmm. through food, from Fukushima and mm -hmm. cell phones and Wi-Fi everywhere, and all that yeah. everywhere. So um, sulfur uh, effectively protects the body from radiation, it actually can react with the radio radioactive isotopes in the body and it turns them into, um, into harmless sulfates that the body can safely usher out of the body. So um, it also helps with the, um, you know, just the chemical pollution that's in the, you know, the air, in the water, in the food these mm -hmm. days. Um, this will, the only thing sulfur does not react with is gold and platinum. Mm -hmm. Everything else, every other heavy metal it will react with, toxins, chemicals of all kinds, it will react with those and create 
safe compounds that the body can actually safely uh, usher out of the body. Okay, very good. Now, since you are also, uh, you know, producing colloidal gold, and you just mentioned the gold. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if people going to take gold and this uh, organic sulfur, do they have to take it in a, like, in a different time frame, or how does it work? Well, um, it doesn't react with colloidal gold, so uh -huh. you could take them at the same time. Uh -huh. um, sulfur works best by itself, so when I first uh -huh. wake up in the morning on an empty stomach, I take the, my sulfur with water. Um, it does taste bitter, but you'll get used to it. When I first started taking it, I didn't think yeah. I could do it, but I've gotten to the point where I'm so used to it now, I can actually spoon the sulfur crystals into my mouth and chew them up, and it's yeah. not that bad. You definitely get used to it. The five to ten seconds of bitter taste, or excuse mm -hmm. me, the, the health benefits far outweigh the, the five, mm -hmm. to second, mm -hmm. five to ten seconds of, of bitter taste. Mm -hmm. um, so really, everybody can take it. As far as with silver, it does react with silver, but um, there are some uh, protocols on the internet using sulfur and silver together to, you know, to benefit the health in, in a variety of ways. I encourage people to go on the internet and just type in colloidal silver, organic sulfur, and see what you find. There's all kinds of websites out there that have all kinds of interesting pro protocols. Um, I'm actually coming out with a nasal spray that is colloidal silver with organic sulfur in it. Mm -hmm. The sulfur, when you spray it into your nose, the sulfur makes the membranes in your sinuses more mm -hmm. permeable, mm -hmm. so it allows the silver to get in there and do a better job, mm -hmm. makes it more effective. Um, a lot of people like to make their own eye drops with sulfur, and there's information how to do that on the, on the internet. One site I encourage everybody to go check out because it's a wealth of essential information. If you want to be 100% healthier, if you want to be as healthy as you possibly can, you need to know about organic sulfur. And one of the best sites to read uh, in good information about it is called OrganicSulfurStudy.com. Um, there's many pages of information there to read. I encourage everybody to read that. After you read about it, you're not going to want to be without it either. It's very, very important, especially in the day and age that we live in. Okay, very good. Now, Jonathan, can you tell us, a lot of uh, people like to take um, um, the Epsom salt bath. Mm -hmm. So, can they use this sulfur instead of Epsom salt, or how does it differ? Um, I would use the Epsom salt Epsom for, salt. for a bath, and I would uh -huh. use this for internal for use. For internal, mm -hmm. okay. So, this yeah. is out, and this is in. Yeah. Okay. I mean, this sulfur works great topically as well. Mm -hmm. um, there's sulfur uh, lotions and creams out mm -hmm. there, and we're researching one that we found to be pretty effective, and we're probably going to mm -hmm. sell that at some point in the future. Mm -hmm. It's good for aches and pains. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But internally, this is the you know some of the main benefits are increasing the oxygen levels in your cells, which is extremely important. Increasing the nutrients that get into your cells and getting more toxins and waste out of your cells. Very good, and I'm so. going to start on that bottle today because I just finished with my my MSM formula a couple of weeks ago, yeah. and I'm going to start on that. I'm yeah. definitely going to have to try this product now and to you know to let people know more about that. Just just to let you know, I just want to say one thing about MSM. A lot of people are familiar with MSM. Mm -hmm. They might not have heard about organic sulfur. Basically, the same thing, but. Most MSM these days comes from China. It has other mm -hmm. ingredients added to it. Um, because because the, if, if you shake this up, uh, you probably can't hear it or see it on, on the video, but yeah. uh, if you shake it up, you can hear a clump in there. And if you shake it hard enough, the clump will dissipate into the crystals again. Mm -hmm. But this, is, this clumps up very, very naturally, very quickly. And so in order to make this into a capsule or a tablet, or a powder, you have to add other ingredients to it so it doesn't cake together. They're called anti-caking ingredients. Mm -hmm. And those added ingredients will take, a, on average, take away about 80% of the effectiveness mm -hmm. of the sulfur. So most sulfur on the market comes from China. The purity is, debated, is questionable. Mm -hmm. um, they usually have other ingredients added to it. Again, if you see it in a powder form, or capsule form, or tablet form, you know that it has a, these other ingredients which, which take away the most, most about 80% of the effectiveness of the sulfur. There's only one manufacturer in the United States that makes organic sulfur. That's who we source ours from. There are a handful of other companies that get the same U.S. source sulfur, but all the rest of the MSM on the market comes from China, mm -hmm. and it's definitely inferior. Um, so yeah. anybody that's getting health benefits from those products, you would get much, much more health benefits from a raw crystal organic sulfur like. Well, thank you, Jonathan. It was very informative. And you guys, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We're expecting your likes, if you like, of course. And uh, we would be happy to answer any of your questions if you have them. Stay with us and stay healthy and happy. You have a good one. Bye. Thank you.